Bye guys. Summer is coming and as all girls know, there's tons of cute clothes, but you have to wear less of them because it's hot and that means it's a little bit tricky to find clothes that flatter your body. Especially if you have a curvier body or if you're like me and you've lost a lot of weight and you've got loose skin that you would like to hide while emphasizing parts of your body that you do really like. So I've discovered a lot of tips and tricks over the last couple of couple of years as to what styles of clothing will glide over the loose skin while emphasizing other good parts of your body like your legs or your shoulders or your arms like whatever you like instead losing weight it's not just a physical thing it's here and it's here fight through it you can do it don't give up First, I want to say all of the clothes that I'm going to show you are from stores that now carry plus sizes. So you will, no matter what size you are, be able to find something like what I'm showing you. And they're all like under 30 bucks, each thing. So first, I don't know about you ladies, but I always love the bodycon style dresses that are out. But for someone like me with loose skin, it does not look right because it will look cool where my waist is small, but then it does this where my loose skin, and of course I still have a little bit of belly fat, so my loose skin pokes out, and then the, the loose skin and fat deposits around my hips stick out. So it's like, it looks nice in most areas, but I have some areas that I would like to conceal a little bit. So I discovered Shorts, any sort of short that is seamless, fit underneath bodycon dresses, and you can't really see them, and it smooths out the areas that you're not too, like, fancy on. <laughs> so these are both from Forever 21. They're just plain, seamless shorts. Both of these are, like, $5 a piece. And I got this dress at Marshall's for $25 and it's really nice and light and summery and I like how it flows. It emphasizes my small waist and it flows over the rest of my body. So once you see me put the shorts on, you'll see that it corrects this area that I'm not too fancy on. Yeah, so you can see like I have a little bit of belly fat and then here is where my loose skin starts to sort of fall down and over um, and it, it really does poke out quite a bit and then here are the um, these are like fatty deposits left over from my weight loss that really I don't think will go away without surgery so once you put the shorts on it smooths it out a bit Na -na. So, it obviously my loose skin is uh, it's always gonna look a little odd here, but it did smooth it to an extent, and it did like make these a little more minimal. So now I feel a lot more confident in this dress, and I can actually um, wear it out in public. Whereas before, I never would have because I would have been really self-conscious of this area. Hey. So, I normally don't like to wear shorts because I have a lot of loose skin around my thigh area and those fatty things like the saddlebags, you know, that I told you about. And always the shorts generally sit at an area that sort of make my emphasize the belly fat that I have and my loose skin too, it emphasizes. But I found high waist shorts especially with an um, elastic waistband and a loose tank top are great because it shows my small waist and it hides the loose skin and it draws the eye up here again, showing off my small waist and taking the eye away from the area that is pokey. <sighs> Both uh, the tank top and the shorts are from Forever 21. The top was about 12 bucks and the shorts were about 25. 
the friends. I just realized it might be a bit confusing when I say like the small shows off my small waist and then I am pointing out like my loose skin up here this is a small like I have a small upper waist so when I talk about that it's the small I want to bring all eyes to the smaller part of my waist instead of the thicker part which is basically what I'm saying like I have a thicker part and then I have a smaller part you always uh, a really good tip that I learned is you always want to draw the eye upward to where is more flattering for you. So for me, it's my smaller part of my waist, which is the upper part, and my shoulders are toned. So I, I'm always wanting to draw eyes up here where I feel more confident and I really am proud of these parts of my body. This is another outfit where we're using a high waist. So these new skirts that are out, they're called like paper bag skirts. I really like that they're loose and they most of them have pockets and they have this cute little bow that actually sort of hides and draws the eye away from the loose skin portion of my body. And then the little ruffle part of the skirt brings the eye upward again and shows off the smallest part of my waist and hides any of the loose skin and stuff around here that I want to conceal. And it's really comfortable. The skirt is from Dynamite and this is the only item that is over $30 that I'm gonna show you. This one was 40. This top is from Ardeen and it was about 12. These are all Canadian prices, friends, because we're Canadian. So it'll be even cheaper for our American friends. It'll be cheaper for the American friends. And all of these places have an online website as well. Na na! Paper bags go, get one. <laughs> but it's no! What the? Hey, there's shorts there. Yes, this, the friends, this is a romper. Wow. Normally I stay away from rompers because they generally emphasize the middle, but now these new rompers are popular where they sort of look like a dress. Whoa. Um, so what I'm loving is that it's concealing all of the loose skin and fatty deposit cellulite things that I have back here with the little dress. And the ruffle, again, it up here is drawing the eye up to my shoulders, which I really like and am proud of. And also the skirt ends up here right where the smallest part of my waist starts. So it is taking your eye off of the belly fat and the loose skin and bringing it up to all of the areas that you are proud of and confident of. That's really flattering for body types like yours. Very, yes, especially like mine, um, where all of the stuff that I'd like to conceal is right here. So it's perfect. And what I learned about rompers is you need to go a size up. Normally I wear a medium in most things. This is a large. And what that does is it makes it a little bit more roomy so that it's not pulling everywhere and, and maximizing all of the, the areas that stick out. It's concealing them more. So like this, hoo hoo. Pretty. This from Ardeen comes in plus sizes and was 20 monies. <laughs> I wanted to show you a short romper that doesn't have the dress style, but because it is more flowy, it still conceals and it, it, it glides over the areas that I'm not super fond of. Like, so it really, it's really cute and comfortable. And again, what you're looking for is flowy so that it glides over the areas you're not proud of or fond of. And it changes in texture. And it changes in texture in the part that you wanna bring attention to. Again, the top part of my waist that is small and my shoulders. So um, that's what you're looking for. Always look for something that's pulling the eye toward what you want the eye pulled to. 
and glides over your problem areas. <laughs> and the friends, this is also from Ardeen. And because I got two of them, it was buy one, get one half off. So it worked out to I got both rompers for about 25, 30 bucks, I think. The friends, before I get into this next dress, Kyle just brought up a good point. There's nothing worse than being heavier or having areas that you know are problem areas for you and being hot at the same time because you're sweating things are sticking to you you feel so much more self-conscious that's why getting a lightweight item and something that's flowy will make you feel so much better you'll feel a lot more confident because you won't be as hot and it might sound weird, but if you're a larger person, you know this. And Kyle and I used to be there where we wanted to cover up because we didn't like our bodies, but we would be dying because we'd be in huge clothes and sweatshirts in the summer. So look for something lightweight and flowy. That will make a huge difference for you. Um, I wanna show you one of my favorite styles of clothing, cl dresses with empire waists. Those are my favorite because they start at the smallest part of my waist and they glide over the largest part of my waist and it glides over all of the problem areas that I have. And it looks really cute and it's lightweight and flowy. And you can get them in maxi style or you can get them in the shorter styles. So you, there's a style of empire waist that will flatter everybody. Also, what I love about this particular dress is that the top is a bit loose and flowy and it has a belt. So again, what I taught you about drawing the eye upward, you're looking at the belt, you're looking at the different style sort of of the upper top, it's drawing the tone part of my, your eye to the tone part of my shoulders, the rest, the flow is covering my problem areas while being cute and light and airy. And you can do this. <laughs> and this dress is also from Ardeen. And it was about 25 bucks, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, before we get into the dress, I just wanted to say, I've been talking about parts of my body that I feel confident about, that I want to dry the eye upward, but I realized that if you are larger and you're watching this video, you might be saying, looking into the camera going, uh, hello, loser, I don't have any parts that I like because I would have been, when I was 300 pounds, I would have been doing that at me too. I didn't have any parts that I felt comfortable with or confident in except for my hair. So what you can do is buy clothes that flatter your body where it's at, but draw the eye upward to your features. If you have big eyes, do a dramatic eye or do a smoky eye or um, what I always used to do was I my hair was the thing I felt the most confident with. I would wear a flower in my hair always when I was, I was almost 300 pounds. So I would draw everyone's attention to the flower in my hair and I would curl my hair or I would do a bun or something funky because then the eye was coming up here and less attention was on the parts that I didn't feel so comfortable with. So that's another thing you can do. If you still aren't confident in your clothing, but you find things that you're comfortable in, draw the eye to something else. Or if you love cool shoes, do the, do the cool shoes thing. Those are always things you can do when you are bigger and just starting out your weight loss journey. You can draw the eye to those things instead. Last, I want to introduce you to the fit and flare. The Fit and Flare dress is my most bestest dress in the whole land, ladies. It has always an empire waist and it's very, very flowy. Warning, do not wear on a windy day. <laughs> but I love it because, again, empire waist, so it draws your attention up to the smallest portion of my waist. Generally, there um, I get the sundress ones, so then it shows um, the shoulders that I'm really proud of. and. Because it is a flare, it glides over and conceals all of my problem areas. My loose skin is hidden, my saddlebags, my cellulite, my loose 
um, leg skin, it's all hidden. And it's a very light flowy dress. So you will get free air conditioning on that day, on a hot day. You can feel comfortable in it. They come in maxi dress style too. So if you don't like your legs, it will cover your legs. And also you can get empire dresses with long sleeves or short sleeves as well. If you're not a fan of your shoulders or anything like that. So they do come in every style you can imagine. This one is from Marshalls and it was $20. And you can do that. So the friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to show you guys all of the things that I've learned because I know how hard it is to dress a larger body and a post larger body with extra skin and, and saggy things. <laughs> so hopefully you guys learned some tips and um, let me know what your favorite style to wear is to help you like conceal your problem areas or let me know if you you know went to some of these stores after watching this video and found something really cool that you feel comfortable in thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to friends or else who else what the scary ding dong the do <laughs> thanks for watching bye friends bye guys